Welcome to the May 2023 flyover of Te Ahua Tūranga Manawatū Tararua Highway. This month you're flying with Jeff Nyhouse, the zone manager uh, for zones two and three. Coming through zone one, you can see the local road now has its pavement uh, and curve and channel installed. And this section will be sealed in the coming weeks, allowing us to switch traffic and complete the remaining roundabout works offline. The bulk earthworks have continued around bridge one and we are now at subgrade level through this section. The southern abutment and headwall of Parahaki Bridge are now complete and fill placement around the southern abutment are ongoing. Our work has started on the land span. This is a section of the bridge that the form traveller can't reach. Uh, pier 2 is now complete and we're on lift 3 or 5 at Pier 3. A big milestone for the team is that the first pour for Pier 1 pier table has been completed. Construction of the superstructure, the part of the bridge that the road goes on, will start this winter. The superstructure consists of 50 concrete segments which will be poured one part at a time out from the piers using the form traveller. Uh, access works have commenced to the northern abutment. Now onto the Eco Viaduct. Since the last update, the southern abutment has been poured and 18 beams have now been delivered and lifted onto the piers. You can see that a braced pair of beams is being lifted into position, about a 100 tonne lift. These beams are between 34 and 47 metres long, depending on the span. They're made by Eastbridge and Napier, who are producing about one beam a week. A total of 42 beams will be lifted onto this bridge between now and October. Construction of the precast panels for the bridge deck has commenced and these will start to be placed onto the beams soon. Rock line channels and stream diversions have been installed through fill 9. The landscaping team has been busy spreading mulch ahead of the planting which will happen over the next few months. About 420,000 plants will be planted this landscaping season which runs from now to October. 220,000 of these will be planted next to the highway in areas where earthworks are completed like this one. This is the first season we'll see planting next to the highway. Previous seasons focused on planting at offset sites away from the highway. You can see that the pavement drainage is now being installed in fill 9 and this will carry on up the alignment. These are the last elements to be installed before paving aggregate can be placed. Network drainage and riprat swales through cut 12 and fill 10 are now completed. Uh, all the way through to the start of Cut 13. On the left you can see the two permanent stormwater basins taking shape. These manage the water coming off the northern benches of Cut 13. These basins help remove sediment and dissipate energy of the stormwater before it discharges into the stream to the south. Cut 13 is largely complete now. Around 2.2 million cubic metres has been removed. Network drainage installation continues along the southern side of the cut. This line that they're working on is over a kilometre long. There is a small section on the left that required a redesign after an infilled gully was encountered at the base of the cut. A permanent stream diversion is being installed down the right hand side of fill 11. These replace the streams that were in the base of the gullies that we have filled in. We work closely with the ecology team and Kaitiaki to build suitable habitat for the tuna that live in the area.
Bulk earthworks in Cut 16 have resumed, with this material being taken into Zone 3. The second half of Colwit 7 has been installed in Fill 13. There are some finishing works to be completed before we can liven this culvert and resume the bulk fill. There's about 80,000 cubic metres to go in that. Now into Zone 3. Uh, big changes through this section. During the last update we'd only started Cut 17 and it's now completed. Two thirds of the 110,000 cube have been taken forward into Fill 14, which is now at the top of subgrade level and the rest was taken to spoil as it was unsuitable for structural fill. This is where a future public stopping area will be. We're completing the last of the ground improvement through this section, which involves installing a geotextile over the strip surface before placing the drainage blanket. The MSE walls at Bridge 5 are, are almost complete and the foundation layer on the other side of the bridge has now been installed. Uh, the precast barriers have started production and are expected to be on site and installed in June. This will complete the structure until the final pavement and line marking works are undertaken later in the project. Cut 20 is now largely complete with shotcrete channels being sprayed at the toe of the cut. All culverts are now live through this section of fill 15. Temporary stream diversions have been removed and bulk fill is now being placed with around 90,000 cubic metres to go. Cut-off drains are being installed to divert surface water from the cuts and fills. A block of pine trees to the left was felled and is currently being mulched, which we will use for the planting areas throughout this section. We're coming up to cut 25, which is the last big cut of the job to be completed. We've made good progress this month, with a quarter of being completed so far and around 300,000 cube left. Material from Cut 25 has been going into Fill 18 in Zone 4, replacing the undercut material and also into Fill 19, which is now completed. We now head into Cut 28 where we can see another drainage team installing network drainage culverts. This drainage line is also over a kilometre long. Stabilising works along the cut batters are also ongoing through this section. To the left you can see we're installing another permanent stream diversion down the side of Fill 20. The bulk fill through this section and subgrade improvement layers are also completed. 
Another team is working in Cut30 installing culverts and manholes for the network drainage. The deep soil mixing for Mangamanaya Stream Bridge is now completed and we're moving on to the next phase, which is the installation of the MSE walls. Manufacturing of the Super T beams for this bridge will start soon. These are being made in Tauranga and we will expect to receive the first beams later this year. Good progress is being made through Fill 22, where we're installing a series of reinforcing layers and a drainage blanket to avoid undercutting below the water table. Once this improvement layer reaches the roundabout, we will be able to complete the remaining bulk earthworks here. That concludes the May flyover. It's been a pleasure showing you the progress over the last couple of months.